Let's solve a common software developer interview problem, the FizzBuzz test. Write a program that prints the numbers from 1 to 100. But for multiples of 3, print Fizz instead of the number, and for the multiples of 5, print Buzz. For numbers which are multiples of both 3 and 5, print FizzBuzz. If you know how to solve this, you'll be more qualified to be a programmer than the majority of Greenhorn College graduates. I'll create a web page and an external script file for this. Here we go. The loop parameters are straightforward. Start at 1, continue until it's not greater than or equal to 100, and increment by 1, and print each number. I'm using a special font in my IDE that makes the less than or equal to sign look like one symbol, but it is just a less than sign and an equal sign. In order to check if i is a multiple of 3, we can use the modulus or remainder operator. This operator returns the remainder of what the former operand is divided by in the latter. When i is divided by 3, the modulus operator will return 0. Knowing that, we can update the for loop logic. For buzz, we'll get the modulus of 5. Notice I'm using continue here, so we don't execute the console log to show the number in these cases. When the number is divisible by both 3 and 5, we need to output fizzbuzz. So I'll do that now. There are a number of ways to solve the FizzBuzz problem. They all typically make use of a programming loop of some kind, though. And that's it for now.